Hey guys, SoCal Hunter here, and today we're going to do another duck blind bag review. And we're gonna see if we can get all of this into this. The Drake floating blind bag, size large. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so if you're looking to purchase the Drake floating blind bag, there are two sizes to choose from. There's a large and an extra large. The large is 18 inches wide, 11 inches high, and 10 inches deep. And the extra large is two more inches wide, so 20 inches wide, uh, an inch higher, so it's 12 inches or a foot. And then deep is 11 inches. So that's the XL. This review is on the large. Although the extra large is identical, um, this is the original floating blind bag, not the 2.0 version. But I thought I'd go over it anyway since I'm doing a bunch of reviews on blind bags as a whole. Um, and this one is unique, right? There's a lot more to this one. There are more options available to you. Um, so we're going to take a look at those. Right off the bat, you're going to see on the lid itself, there's an adjustable um, top with the bungee cords that not only will hold like a thermos or whatnot and you can fasten it down but it'll also hold if you leave it open you can actually put clothing in there like a rain jacket or something of, the, of that nature so this goes all the way through or you can fasten it down tighten it up like a thermos or whatnot okay most blind bags are starting to come with pockets on each side so on the the my left hand side is a very very sturdy pocket that they say you can use for shells or other or food or, or, or water bottles or whatnot and this elastic band is extremely tight it's not one of those opening you know free forming elastic bands it is hard so um, you can put stuff in there and, and don't have to worry about it falling out it also has two drain holes on the bottom so water gets in there that's the whole concept of the floating blind bag it's got a nice lid to cover it on the top there's something of that nature in there on the other side exact same pocket except no flap to cover so it's just the same that pocket they say that's for shells quick access to shells <laughs> i don't know how quick that's going to be when i can barely get my hand in there we will see um, there is no pocket on the back Okay, if I take the lid off, and this is where we start getting unique, I might have to zoom out here. I'll do my best. I wanted to zoom in so you guys can get a full view of this. So on the lid itself, it's got two pockets plus a third entire pocket down below. So this is what you'll use either gloves for um, or something thin because it is a mesh net, but that's available to you. However, it also has this plastic lid to cover not only the top of the bag because this has a zipper that goes all the way around to keep it waterproof but if you have things like maps or your phone or, or whatever you want your licenses etc those can go in here and that actually snaps to this lid here so you can snap that up and every time you open it through the zipper the lid comes completely open now inside I've got like it said, it's 10 inches deep in there, which is plenty big. And I have a lot of fasteners, a lot of connectors that I can attach things to so I can quickly access them. But it's one big deep pocket with a bunch of little flat pockets all the way around. Okay, and there are some things like the ability for you to add some choke tube holders in here if you, if you, if you want. There's another plastic bag for things like medicine or pills, or if you, you, you have something you want to keep again, protected from the elements, there's another pocket there. And then the rest of it is just deep lined, okay? In the very front, you have a Velcro thinner, I guess you'd say, pocket, where you have, your strap, right? But you have um, some shell holders here as well. Although you're probably going to put your shells in there, I'm not sure. And then maybe some small other thin items. Okay, so that's the 
the gist of the bag, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put all my stuff in it and see if it fits. Well, I gotta tell you, it's pretty tight in there. Um, we will see how this works out. But those measurements, if it were me and I were to do this all over again, I would probably go with the extra large because this is the large. Now I'm putting all my, I'm putting sh uh, water bottles on this side and maybe some um, granola bars and jerky. So the food will go in over here. That's why I'm leaving that empty. Uh, but this thing is full to the rim. <laughs> of stuff they can't hold any more in there so if you're looking for the drake flotation uh floating blind bag they came out with a new one there's a 2.0 i don't know what the difference would be maybe better pocket placement maybe the sides are better um, but this one's on sale everywhere on the internet right now 60 dollars out the door is where i found this um, so if you want a, a higher end bag, I mean the stitching is amazing, the quality is amazing. This thing's not going to tear on you. Um, the bottom is made, has a, another material on it to obviously for the flotation piece. I can even feel it in there. Um, so it's solid. This thing's not going to uh, have any issues getting thrown around. But definitely quality's there, zippers there, straps are good. Um, but. That's my review. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.